Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice problem party of couples. So, first of all, this is a very important and exciting question. So, first we would understand the explanation and then we would solve it. So, let's start. Basically, in this question, we are given an array like 1, 2, 2, 1 and 3. Now, what we need to do is we need to find the pairs like 1 and 1 is the pair. 2 and 2 is the pair. Now, which element is single? 3 is single, right? So, what should be my output? My output should be 3. So, basically, this is what I have to do. In a given array, I need to find the element which is single. And this is the question. And I need to return with the value which is single. So, for solving this question, I would use the operator ZOR. Okay? So, I would be using the ZOR operator to find the element which is single. Now, I would apply the for loop on the entire array and then I would use the ZOR operator to find the single element. So, this is how we would solve this question. So, now let's do it. So, what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. Over here, you need to go and scroll down in filters and in difficulty, you need to choose school. Okay? After that, you need to find the problem party of couples. So, I hope this is clear to you. And now, let's solve this question. So, let's read the question. In a party of n people, each person is donated by an integer. Couples are represented by the same number. Find out the only single person in the party of couples. Okay? Now, we would code it over here. So, let's start. First of all, initially I would be taking the value of single to be 0. Okay? So, single equal to 0. After that, I would be applying the for loop. So, for i in array. After this, I would be using the ZOR operator. So, single ZOR i. i are the elements of the array. And finally, I would return with the value of single. Okay. Now, to check if the answer is correct or not, I would click on compile and run. So, let's wait. The compilation is done. And my output is matching with the expected output. So, now I would submit the problem. So, let's wait. So this is how you solve the practice problem party of couples. So I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching it. Thank you.